WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman doing the 9 a.m. Eastern Time update at TFNN. And I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon doing this show right now. So the Dow closed yesterday, 25,625. We've had quite a few days of bounces and then pullbacks intraday, and then it closes quite nicely. So yesterday, the that's the action that happened. And you see the technicals and the daily chart on the left of the Dow still very weak. I suspect that the upside, this should be some upside here, but it's becoming limited. But at this particular point, we find that the downside is also limited. So we're stuck in a range at this particular moment. The, S the Dow futures are up just two. The S&P also had a mixed session yesterday. Whoops, I just typed that in the wrong place. <laughs> Not a good time to do it. The S&P right now is what it closed yesterday, 2805. And the E-mini futures are down 75 cents. The QQQ, and this is where my focus is going to be, uh, from today into Monday. The Qs are starting to show some weakness. And many of the very best stocks are starting to show a little toppiness here. So how the NDX 100 trading vehicle, the QQQ, acts over the coming few days is going to be very important. I'd say to close below the 176 level would be very meaningful in terms of looking at downside activity. And that makes the upside at about 170, let's say 178.01 right now makes 179.20-ish, should be strong resistance. IWM has been weak, but here's the story. Gold is down 12 at 13.04. We discussed this yesterday. I'll go through it in the show that I'm doing next, which is Larry Pesavento's Trade What You See, Larry's Away Until Tomorrow. You'll be back tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing the show. And yesterday I was discussing that gold had made this fourth highest peak and was showing signs of deterioration technically, should be pulling back quite sharply, and 13.03 was a key level. It's at 13.04 right now, and silver's doing the same thing. But the dollar, dollar's showing some nice strength here. It's up 19 cents at 97.10. I suspect that because of the United States economy, still uh, the place that many countries want to invest, and they're doing it in dollars. This is my, my interpretation. So we're looking at that, and crude oil, as we're wrapping up here, and then we're going to go to uh, Larry's show in a moment, uh, crude oil is trading down 95 cents. Uh, it made a kind of a double top, watching it closely under 57.50. That's a problem for crude oil. Short of I'll be right back in a few minutes. Thank you, and Basil Chapman signing off for this update.